What's up guys? So I'm going to just be showing you how to use MetaTrader 4 on your mobile device real quick. This is the iPhone version of MetaTrader 4. It looks a little bit different, but it's pretty much all the same. If you guys need to, leave a comment in the video section. I mean, leave a comment on my video and I'll shoot a video for the Android version too. Because I have Android and iPhone. But this is your quote screen. This is where you're going to make, select the currency you want to look at on the charts. First, you would need to know how to add your account to MetaTrader 4. You just come into the settings tab, go to new account, and you would select log in with an existing account. You'll be able to enter your broker account, login, password, and ID. And then you'll be logged in and you'll see your balance here on the trade tab. Now the quote tab I was just showing you, if you hold it or tap it, you can either trade it, open up the chart, or look at more details. So if there is a pair you're trying to trade that you don't see on this list, you would just hit the plus button. If you're using LMFX like me, you would hit Forex Miners and boom, there you go. All the pairs that are not default on the list, you can come here and add so you're able to trade. Now on the charts, of course you have your history tab that'll just give you a history of how much money has been made and lost over the day, week, or month, or you can customize it to go back as far as you want. But when you're looking at these charts, now everybody's chart is going to look different. The reason for that is because you can customize these charts to look however you want. So this will be how you add your indicators. You hit the functions button or the F. You can see I have the parabolic SAR, which is the green dots indicating the trend. And the Bollinger Bands, which are the three lines here. Volume is usually already on there by default. So you don't have to worry about adding that. But as you can see, from moving averages, Inkamuku Cloud, I used to use that a lot. Standard Deviation, Bear Power, Bull Power, MACD, RSI. Tons of indicators that you can apply to this chart. A never ending possibility of combinations. Uh, you can use them. Of course, you probably wouldn't be able to see the chart if you use them all at the same time, which is why you want to pick the ones that work best for you and learn how to use them together when you're looking at this chart to predict when the price is going down and when it's going up. You can see on my chart, <clears throat> I have the bear candles or the price decrease in this red. This red means negative to me. It just makes sense. And then I have the bull candles or the candles going up, highlighted green for gain or profit, even though I can profit either way. It just helps me designate what I'm looking at. Now, if you hit this crosshair, you can point at any point on the chart and it'll pull up the details on it. And then the next thing I just want to show you is how to customize this. You'll come to settings, come down here to charts. Now, most people like to use candlesticks, but you can use bar chart, line chart. Here's where your volume is already on. You can see your ax price line on the chart. Period separator, separate the time frames. You can see your trade levels. And then your data window when you click on the screen. Now here in colors is where you can change the way your chart looks. So your, my grid is black. My bar up is green. My bull candle is black. So they're highlighted green, but they're black on the inside. 
bear candles are barred down is red. I don't know why that says bar down green, but all my my down bars are red unless they're highlighted green. Yeah, they're still highlighted green. So you see the green shadows on my bear chart. I might actually change that. So let's say I wanted the whole candle to be red. I already have bare candle red. I'm going to just go up here and change bar down to red. Just like my bare candle. And now when I go back to the chart. You see that even the wicks or the shadows are red as well. So you can customize these charts. Where I have my lines green, which is why my chart is black and green, so on and so forth. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments down in the comment section. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do training like this all the time. Forex is just funding me. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch.